Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this Hi There designer bag. Let me set this aside and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of designer series paper of your choice. I happen to be using the Neutrals Collection designer series paper stack, and my piece measures 6 inches by 6 inches. I've also got my Simply Scored scoring tool, and I'm going to lay this in the corner and score my designer series paper at the 1 inch mark and then again at the 5 inch mark and then I'm going to turn it and I am going to score it at the 2.5 inch mark and the 3.5 inch mark and I can set my scoring tools to the side. Now that I've got my score lines I'm going to fold it so that it's a little easier for you to see creasing all those lines and then I'm going to use my paper snips and I am simply going to take them and snip on this line up to the score line here where they meet on each side. So four little cuts. Now that I've got my cuts I'm ready to start assembling. I'm going to take my um, Fast Fuse and this is great if you haven't used it yet and I'm going to apply a little adhesive to each one of these sides. This is kind of an intermediate adhesive. It's not quite as strong as Sticky Strip, but it's a lot stronger than our snail. So now that I've got my adhesive on, I'm going to assemble my box. I'm going to fold those little tabs in and then lay the front onto the side of the box here and adhere. And I'm going to do that same step on the other side bringing those flaps in, lining them up, and adhering. Now I've got my basic box, and in order to create this little edge, all you have to do is pinch. I'm going to put my finger in the middle and push while the outside edges come together and pinch. And you're going to do that on each side, so let me show you again. There we go. And there's the basic little bag. Now you want to make sure you have your seams to the back so the front of your bag looks nice. And then I'm going to take a two and a half inch circle that I've punched out of Pool Party. And to this I'm going to add a five inch piece of our mossy metal ribbon. I just love the feel of this ribbon. It's just simply lovely. And a flower that I've punched using the Fun Flower Punch out of Lost Lagoon try to say that five times quickly and our new little stapler and I'm going to staple that on and then to that I'm going to add a pansy punch that I did in the soft sky I'm just going to offset that on a dimensional and then I've taken the Hi There stamp image from the Hi There stamp set stamped it on Lost Lagoon in Lost Lagoon ink and I'm going to pop that up in the center with the dimensional. Now I'm ready to adhere this to my bag so I'm going to need two things. I'm going to need a velcro piece and once again my fast fuse. Okay I'm going to add my velcro piece to the front of my card piece here um, or underneath the flower side and I'm going to add my fast fuse here to the back half of my circle and just to make it easy I did score my circle in half because that's where I want it to fold. Now I'm going to fold that so I can see where I'm at and I find this easier to simply attach while I'm holding it against the bag. So I'm going to fold that in half carefully not squeezing too hard and then press down so that it attaches to the back of my bag and I can rub that securely with my finger and burnish it a little bit and there's my flap and now I've got this velcro piece on that if I can get the back side protective piece off easily here for you I've got it attached already onto the front and I'm going to simply squeeze again and there you go okay let me show you the finished project again I hope you've enjoyed this project, and if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7, and you can get there from my blog, www.stampwithginny.com. Thanks for joining me.